Good afternoon. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is how do I know if I'm ready to be exclusive with someone I'm dating? So you don't want to just end up in auto automatic relationship mode because it's the next step. You want to make sure that your heart is invested, their heart is invested, and you're on the same level of, of romance and everything that's to come within your partnership. Because a lot of people jump in now. Let's face it, dating is not easy, especially right now. And so when people meet somebody that fits a lot of the criteria and a lot of the, the check marks on the list, you think, wow, this is great. It doesn't get much better than this. But you start sort of talking yourself into it rather than it be a natural progression into a relationship. Because everybody's sort of deciding within the two month mark well, sometimes we don't see each other enough within that two month mark. Sometimes most of our conversations are via text or FaceTime or WhatsApp, whatever you're, you're using as your communication. We need to have more time invested in somebody before we know that we want to be exclusive and maybe even have more down the road. So this is one of the big reasons that a lot of relationships new relationships and within the two to three month mark because people put so much pressure on themselves on having to have a title as to what's going on rather than just let things sort of go and, and pace naturally the way it should. We seem to want to have this label that we are now exclusive or we are now off the dating sites. We're not seeing anybody else anymore and we're committed to this person. We don't know each other that well within a two month mark. I mean, sometimes you can see them six times a week and really get to know them quickly. And yes, that can happen. But right now I would say the majority of people are busy or they've got other stuff going on in their life and they don't generally see each other more than once or twice a week right now. And so this is too difficult to make the decision of being exclusive too quickly. But some people are doing it. And the reason they're doing it is because they've got a lot of things that are great in that partnership. But then what happens is you freak yourself out because you jump in, you're not quite ready. You think you've got most of the stuff that you want. And then all of a sudden, as time goes by in the next couple of months, you see what is missing. And the problem is you've already committed yourself and now you've got a situation. People have to quit wanting instant gratification when they meet somebody. Take your time. I'm not saying date 25 people, but I'm saying take your time getting to know someone. So let's talk about some of the things that will give you signs that maybe you do want to have an exclusive relationship with them. The first thing is that you think about them all the time and that you're looking, you're out with friends and you're thinking about them. You just can't wait to see them again. You've got this really good connection when you communicate with each other, you laugh together, you've got all these fun things you want to do and you're on very similar wavelength with things that are important to you, your values, your morals, your goals, all those kind of things. If they're on a really good path and a similar path with you, you are on the right track because being opposite with somebody can work for a little bit but generally it ends up becoming a problem with most people. There are exceptions to the rule, of course, but the majority of people who are too opposite, they end up not having anything to talk about as time goes by. And you always want to be able to communicate with your partner because that is a huge, you know, thing to keep your relationship strong and growing. Because if you can always talk to each other, you'll always figure out little problems or things that are happening in your, in your world that need to be discussed. You've got somebody that you can talk to about it and you're there for each other. It's a reciprocated, communicative relationship. That is huge to make sure that you know you're on the right path with somebody that you want to commit with. When there aren't a lot of questions anymore, because you're so great at communicating and you've talked about everything and there's not a lot left to try and figure out or decipher. There's no games. There's no BS. There's just two people who are being true to themselves and to each other. And this is a really good sign that you are ready to make a commitment with somebody. 
you also have the same dreams, the same goals about what you want for family, where you want to live. There has to be a lot of things that have been discussed before you commit with somebody. But a lot of people are afraid to talk about those things, afraid to bring up that stuff. When you're in a really good and healthy relationship, nobody's afraid to talk about that. You just do. It's just the next phase of what you go through together as a couple. I honestly express my opinion about not moving in with somebody very quickly, getting to know them outside of a communal sort of living arrangement, get to know them that way first, slow it down a little bit, don't make it all just about sex, make sure you have emotional conversations and you, you've got so many of the same ideas and things that you want for your future. That's super important. Otherwise you end up getting frustrated. You feel like you're wasting your time. Oh, here we go again. Watch for patterns. If there's patterns happening time and time again, you are not learning what you need to learn with this dating situation that you're, you're constantly putting yourself in. So you shouldn't be ready to commit to everybody you date. That's a big red flag right there. You want to make sure that this is something that is a, a rare feeling. And when it happens, it's reciprocated with the partner that you feel this way with and make sure you have all the right talks and you get all that stuff cleared up before you take the leap of moving in together. And please make sure you take yourself off all dating sites if you've decided you're going to be exclusive because otherwise you're not giving yourself, they're not giving themselves a chance to make it work. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have below here and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.